At the entrance to Chinatown in San Francisco, there is a plaque that reads Tianxia Wei Gong, which means all under heaven belong to all people. This is a Confucian scholar's understanding of Tianxia, or all under heaven in pre-Qin times, and also people's vision of what all under heaven should be like. Over millennia, such a plain which has been gradually incorporated into the DNA of Chinese culture. Rooted in such historical background, Chinese President Xi Jinping initiated the idea of building a community with a shared future for mankind, which serves as China's solution to the ever-changing global landscape complex by multiple challenges. Over a decade, the solutions have become clearer in practice. When the world is in chaos, no country will live in peace. When a country is in chaos, every household will suffer. Peace and security not only represent the long-standing belief of all Chinese people, but also the basic premise of human development. China, as a player in the world, has always been doing its bit. From South Sudan to Lebanon to Cyprus, the blue helmets of China's peacekeeping forces could be seen safeguarding inhabitants in conflicted zones. On the Gulf of Aden and waters off Somalia, the Chinese Navy escort fleet has guaranteed the safety of vessels from various countries passing by. In non-traditional security issues, including cybersecurity, public health, and environmental issues, China has been upholding multilateralism, seeking communication and cooperation with other countries, while leveling up its own capacity of coping with problems and providing support for countries in need. A single flower does not make spring, while 100 flowers in full bloom bring spring to the garden. The winner-takes-all is never the rationale behind any choice made by China. Instead, inclusiveness and win-win results are always pursued. With such a mindset, China cooperated with Indonesia and built the latter's first high-speed railway, the Jakarta and Bandung HSR, which speeds up the economic activity and improves livelihoods in Indonesia. Junzhao, literally meaning fungus grass, played an important role in China's poverty alleviation. Benefiting from the innovative Junzhao technology, China shared it with underdeveloped countries like Fiji and Papua New Guinea, free from any charge in an effort to help these countries alleviate poverty and pursue prosperity. Be a friend in need and teach others how to fish, China has time and again epitomized these inclusive practices that benefit others. Delicious soup is cooked by combining different ingredients. The ancient saying highlights diversity, which has inherited by China even to this day. Civilizations are equal and should be treated with an open mind. Countries should dialogue on an equal playing field and learn from and help each other. Earlier, the national treasures of Afghanistan toured around the world to avoid war damage in the form of exhibitions. When America suddenly canceled its exhibition schedule, it was China who stepped out and arranged exhibitions in multiple museums for protection. China and France have cooperated in the restoration work of Notre Dame. China helped Nepal restore the nine-storied Basin Tampur complex. They're working to conserve treasures that are invaluable assets for all of humanity. Heaven and Earth coexist with me, all things and I are one. These deep words by Zhuangzi have captured the Chinese people's attitude towards nature, respect it and seek harmony with it. Building a clean and beautiful world is a necessary part in building a community with a shared future for mankind. To that end, China has stepped up efforts to reduce carbon emissions, improve eco-environmental conditions, while in the meantime helping the African countries develop clean energies and collaborate with other countries in biodiversity conservation, safeguarding the common homeland of humanity and leaving legacy for future generations. No individual and no country exists in isolation. With a vision of building a community with a shared future for mankind, we will expect the coming decade to be more beautiful. Thank you for watching. I'm Xu Yi in Beijing.